Yeah, I don't want to make me... <clears throat> F you, you whisper. Sure will, he says before turning... <coughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> you bump into something behind you and you're like, Yeah, it's time to start grinding! See you next week, babe, he says. You freeze. So these are the most powerful men in the country, and then my boyfriend. He's just there. He's having a good time. So hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Layla. Today is the day another weird account on Instagram is coming to me, and um, I saved their post like 85 weeks ago, so the chance of me being able to find it in a timely fashion, good time manner, not likely. This is an ongoing series on my channel of weird Instagram accounts. And by weird, I mean... <laughs> Hours passed and you finally got home. And you found him sleeping in the couch. <laughs> in the... 5.34 p.m. I hate you. 6.32 p.m. I hate you even more. Why won't you die? 9.12 p.m. Did you eat something or still angry? Some bonds are forever. What? It's just kind of exploring unusual Instagram accounts. So I found another account just full of like imagined scenario, POV thingies, whatever you want to call them. If you're into this, you do you, okay? But I just like exploring these accounts that post just very poorly written things and people who are like, oh my gosh, this is the gun in the comment section. I like to keep things private, so I'm not gonna give the name of this account because I don't want to make it seem like I'm bullying or harassing them. So let's give you an example post. This is the one that made me find the account. Imagine, you're visiting your boyfriend who's in- <laughs> Why is he in prison? <laughs> What's going on? You're visiting your boyfriend who's in prison. He's looking at you dead in the eye. Love, why don't you help me out so we can put this behind us? You kill people, his name. The one freaking thing you couldn't tell me your girlfriend for over a year. He smirks at you. <sighs> I want to kiss you. <laughs> you lean back in your chair. Well, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. He leans forward. No, it will. And when it does, you better lock your doors because I will get you back with me. <sighs> you stand up. See you Sunday, his name. <sighs> and you walk to the door. See you next week, beeb. <laughs> See you next week, babe, he says. You freeze. What does this mean? Why is he in prison? He kills people. He ain't getting out. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Who's reading this and being like, this is the god. Okay, let me buy some handcuffs. <laughs> we share the same brain cell. I'm going to say, hmm, okay, fine. I'm waiting for you, love. <laughs> this one got a mafia boyfriend. I don't understand the obsession with... The Mafia? I, I, like, I've never been able to get into that. Imagine, you were sitting in class waiting for the lunch bell to ring when your classroom door slammed open. Three men dressed entirely in black walked through the doors making direct eye contact with you. I'm afraid we have to take your name with us. Sorry for disturbing your class, the one in the middle said. Whispers traveled throughout the classroom, making you and the men smirk. Of course. I hope everything is okay, your teacher replied. Standing from your seat, you grab your things and walk towards them. Miss me, me more? Your mafia boyfriend asked. Smirking, you reach up on your tiptoes and kiss his cheek. You know I did. These were the most powerful men in the country, and also your boyfriend. So these are the most powerful men in the country, and then my boyfriend. He's just there. He's having a good time. Like, what is the point of these? There's another mafia one. Okay. You're chilling with your friends at school when you hear a loud bang at the door. Everyone turns their head to see your mafia boyfriend play fighting with his friends. Oh my gosh, you mutter while you roll your eyes and you see them running towards you. Oh my gosh. Your boyfriend is gonna kill me. His friends yell as he hides behind you. I'll distract him. Run. You giggle. <laughs> You clutch onto your mafia boyfriend's tie. Whoa, he whispers as you pull him back into a kiss. He pushes you against one of the lockers and stares into your eyes. You start breathing heavy as he moves his hand. You start breathing heavy as he moves his hands downwards. Damn, he looks you up and down a few seconds, then whispers, We'll continue this later tonight. He smirks and runs off to find his friend. I feel like I just read something like written by AI. I also have no idea what the main takeaway here is. Imagine 
You walk downstairs into the kitchen. You're wearing a tank top and some sleep shorts. You open the fridge and take out a container of raspberries. You place them on the counter and place one in your mouth. You feel a body hover behind you and cage you into the counter. They move the hair from your neck and place a kiss there. Imagine you live alone and this happens. You take a deep breath and turn around to face him, your sister's best friend. You take a raspberries in your hand and hand it to him. He opens his mouth wanting you to feed it to him. You gently place the raspberries on his tongue. Can I have one, baby? Who's saying that? Because you just gave him one, and you just popped one. So who- is there like a third person in this scenario? Yeah, I have one, maybe. <laughs> Before you even realize, he puts his lips on yours. He leans into you, flush together while you part your lips for him. He pulls away with a smile and walks always. That's good to know. He's getting his steps in. You didn't even realize the raspberry is now in your mouth. Wow, this, wow, this, this, this is the smallest font I've, I've ever seen, seen in my life. life. Okay. okay, imagine. As I rushed home from my friend's house, partially covered by the jeans, as I just started my period, I opened the door and walked straight to the bathroom before feeling someone grab my wrist. Why are you in a rush? My boyfriend asked you. My boyfriend asked you? <laughs> my boyfriend asked you as I as I'd look up at him. I have to use the restroom. You respond, trying to jerk my hand out of his grip. Who? What is the pe? What? Whose perspective did this from? You're sure it's not just that, he'd ask? I didn't know want to admit that. I just started my period. Just let go, please, you say. Faintly. <laughs> I'd try to cover the blood spot on my jeans, but it wasn't good enough. Did you start your period? Damn it. He noticed. Uh, yeah, I say, hesitating. But it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's natural, he said, hugging you. I'll start a shower for you. Okay, he said. Release me from the hug as he walked to, to the bathroom, starting a warm shower. So he walked to the bathroom, but were in the bathroom. I smiled as he closed the door behind him, giving me privacy. I hop into the shower while he was out getting a few things. As I got out of the shower, seeing I was out of pads and tampons, shite. As he knocked on the door, can I come in, he asks. Yeah, you can. You allow him. All right, I got you some stuff. He hands you a bag full of pads and tampons. A treat, too! It was so awkward checking out, he said, as I giggled. <laughs> you're wrong, you're. So cute, he smiled, walking out for me to get dressed. I got dressed, walking to the bedroom as he was laying down. I crawl over next to him. He rubbed my lower stomach. I melted in his arms. It's both falling asleep, cuddling. F you, you whisper. Sure will, he says before turning. <laughs> I can't read the rest of this. Wait, what? They used a very not appropriate audio. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was that kind of account. I'm moving on. Imagine you're at a party playing truth or dare. His name, I dare you to kiss Emma. Your heart started to race with the anticipation of what'll do. Suddenly he stood up, walked up to Veronica, and kissed her. That's not Emma. You looked at him shocked. Relax your name. It meant nothing. He said annoyed. You were about to respond as warm hands and cold rings on your throat distracted you. Your head was pulled back to meet a pair of dark eyes. It was his best friend. He smashed his lips. What does that mean? On yours. <laughs> this is formatted so bad. On yours, on the way he fills up your mouth with al alcohol. The feeling was addicting. He pulled back, smirking at you. Bro, what the hell? I'm wondering the same. Your boyfriend, now ex, yelled, Relax, man. It meant nothing. He said lowly as he was about to walk away. Actually, you said, making all heads turn towards you. It meant everything. You said as you stood up, his best friend smirked proudly as he pulled you closer to him by your waist. That's my girl. He whispered as you both walked away. So he mashes his lips on yours. He's filling your mouth up with alcohol. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to envision that. Dark romance stories and character AI have ruined us as a society. If people think this is good, I said what I said. Imagine! You were forced to marry a mafia husband. Of course, this happens so often. He didn't like you and never said he loved you. Now you were laying down on the opposite side of... Mail his name. I don't know what they stand for, okay? I never read fan fiction. Suddenly you saw his cat wanting to lay with you. You scoot over to make room when you suddenly butt into something. <laughs> what? 
What? You start moving and grinding to see what it was, then you hear moaning sounds? <laughs> you bump into something behind you and you're like, yeah, it's time to start grinding. You turn over to see his name moaning because you were grinding on it. What am I do What? <laughs> you wanted to tease him, so you continued. Then you felt hands on your side. You then felt the hands move to yours and you were turned on your stomach. What are you doing, his name? You turned your head over, but he didn't answer. He grabbed your hips and lifted them in the air. This is what happens when you tease. He said in your ear. He slowly pulled off your underwear. You're only wearing underwear and a bra. Why are these randomly erotic? Imagine that you and your best friend are home alone and you're getting bored, so you decided to call a random number. Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 Imagine someone hears me just going, Hello? Hello? A deep voice says at the end of the call, Your eyes widen, and you look at your best friend, but you stay silent whilst your best friend puts their hand over their mouth trying not to laugh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? The voice says in a louder and more serious tone. You say a quick, hi, and then burst out laughing with your best friend. <laughs> Whoever you are, just be aware. I'm coming. Okay, we are the last thing he says before ending the call. After a couple of mins, you and your best friend are laughing at some jokes when you hear glass crashing from downstairs. <coughs> Wait, there's a part two to the deep voice man. When you hear glass crashing, doke hairs. You and your best friend look at each other. I will go and check, your best friend says. Minutes later, you call your best friend's name, but didn't get any response. So you go downstairs to check upon your best friend, but you were shocked by seeing her faint into the living room with some blood coming from their head. You ran to them and started walking them up, but suddenly you hear a dark but a familiar voice. He told you that I'm coming. You turned around to see there sitting the dangerous mafia king with one leg upon another one and one hand under his chin. Others have tattoos which goes till his neck, looking very hot and dangerous dark aura around him. Like, will you see me more? Then he said, let's see what I am going to do with you. Suddenly a smirk form on his pretty lips. What he said next makes you shaken, but also excited. I remember the way we met, fell in love, and started dating, but her father was my biggest rival because he wanted to be a mafia king. A MAFIA KING! One day, we had a duel and I accidentally killed him, but it was purely unintentional. As she received her father's death news, she was traumatized and lost her memories, and later moved away from the city. And now after four years, I hear the voice and instantly know who it is. I reach to meet her, but to my shock, she lives with my cousin's sister. She is sitting in front of me, beautiful as ever. She is scared of what he is capable of, but she finds his presence far familiar and excite her. The adrenaline running through her excites her as she wants to be near him, then running away from him. He brings her closer to him and kisses her forehead and says, Me more! She holds him as glimpses of the past flash before her eyes. Even if that's the past, I will always love you. He whispered in her ear, leaving her helpless with all the questions and craving for him. She knows that she has something with him, and she wants to know him more because she felt like he is her home, her peace, and her safe place. I'm so confused. I say this in every video just about that I make. It's about time and a place. Listen guys, I'm gonna be 24 this year. And so when I was 13, stuff like this would be like... Oh, so good. <laughs> when you're 13, 14, 15, even deeper into your teens, sometimes even into your 20s, stuff like this is like, so good. It's like, addictive. You can't stop reading it. And these stories, I feel like, are just written so poorly, so sloppily, and I am 100% convinced they employ AI in some fashion. I just feel like with ChatGPT character AI, you know, even the more NSFW chatbots people have now, I feel like they are using these to create stories and scenarios. Or they're drawing inspiration from AI, at least. So yeah, I think we're done. That was another weird Instagram account. There's gonna be more, because I'm inevitably gonna get another one. Hopefully your brain cells are intact, because mine aren't. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you all here next week for more chaos.